level up They all on me like I want some Think I got what you need, well I have none Hop off, you're a freak and I'm handsome Slide up in the club like two chains Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the trucking journey I'm Trucker Jim And for the last month I've been working on a new account It's quite a bit different than the trucking you've been seeing me do in the past This people is grocery delivery we are at the warehouse for Aldi grocery stores. If you'd like to learn more about the history and business concepts of Aldi, you can watch this video right here, very informative. But today what we're gonna be showing you is the loading process for deliveries that go out to local Aldi's grocery stores. will load their own trailer. So if there's any problem when they get out to the stores to do the delivery, well, there's only one person to blame. At the beginning of each shift, a driver is given what's called a load sheet, which will have what's going out and the stores that it's going to. Right now, I'm in what's called the dry staging area. Any dry food and also special items cooler items and freezer items are all loaded on pallets. Now a pallet, it is not a square. Even though it may look like one at first glance, it's a little bit different. The dimension of a pallet is 40 inches by 48 inches. A motorized pallet jack is used by the driver to navigate through the three staging areas of the warehouse and also load each trailer. Pallet jacks are battery powered and there are multiple charging stations throughout the warehouse area. I had mentioned earlier there are three staging areas. Staging area one, which is where I'm at now, is dry. It's section 100. This would include any kind of canned goods, trash bags, any kind of sauces like mustard. Also includes fresh bread. Any of the kind of items you would find on your local grocery store in the middle aisles. The next staging area is the cooler. That's section 200. That's anything that would go in your refrigerator at home. But to get to the cooler, we're going to need to get us a pallet jack. The pallet jack has forks. Similar to a fork lift, these are big enough to carry two pallets at a time. To raise and lower the fork, up for up, down for down. Like Billy mentioned in the previous video, this is not rocket science. Left-handed people will be most comfortable on the left-hand side, us righties over here on the right. But to move the pallet jack, you just twist this in the direction you want to go. If I want to go back, you move it back. So now that we've got those basics out of the way, let's head to the cooler. The door that separates the dry area from the cooler is an automatic door. I haven't seen any collisions happen here yet, but there's definitely a possibility that could happen if drivers just flying around on the pallet jacks. They are included with a horn so you can, well, toot your horn as you come into blind spot type areas. But let's head into the cooler. The cooler is section 200. This will have all the items that go in your refrigerator at home. The warehouse workers prepare the orders that come in from individual stores and put them on pallets and then put them in the staging area. This is the staging area in the cooler and you'll notice each pallet has a number written on it and a marker. Well, that's the store number that it's going to. The warehouse people will wrap each pallet in plastic wrap so it stays secure during the loading process and also during transit. There are certain items from past experience from picking them up like plastic bottles of orange juice on the bottom sometimes give and drivers if you feel nervous about it wrap it some more in plastic. That can be done manually with these small rolls of wraps or these big ones is what the warehouse people use in this wrapping station here. It is okay and recommended to put some extra wrap on there if there's any kind of lean or it's a stacking situation that looks like it could fall. But this is the cooler, section 200, and the last one is 300. 
Anybody want to take a guess what that is? The freezer! The freezer is where all the ice cream, frozen fish, any kind of frozen food is kept. A lot of bread, like your French bread, things like that are kept in here. But the freezer, <laughs> I'm probably going to start having headlights here. The freezer is why you see most of the drivers wearing jackets and stocking caps while they're loading their trailer. Every time I come out of the freezer, I can't see very well because my glasses are fogged up as soon as I hit the warmer air. But by the time you get to the trailer, they're usually um, back to normal. But now that you've seen the staging areas and where everything comes from, let's take a look at trailers and how the loading process works. You know, on second thought, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. In this one, you learned a little more about how the warehouse is set up, the staging areas, how everything's on pallets, the dimensions of pallets, and an upcoming video, which should be the next one, will go in depth of the loading process because it's very important and it deserves its own video. Hey, but thank you very much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit the bell for notifications so you're alerted when new content is uploaded. But thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and until next time, be safe out there and keep on trucking. Everybody go